Um, hey guys, it's Better Bubble here. This is patch 47 overview. Right off the bat, we have this increased block time. So when you uh, block at the right point, they'll kind of like recoil back. The windows have been improved a little bit, um, and how long you have to attack back is better. With uh, heavy axes, you have this strong attack. It really knocks them back. However, with the modern axe, you kind of knock everybody back anyways. And I guess you can sort of glitch it a little bit to have it repeat a bunch in a row, like you saw there. It's, it's quite powerful as you can see. Depending on your positioning and how many enemies are, it, it does leave you out in the open. The bone basket and the arrow basket have their own models now, and it's correctly updated into the books. Now what I like about this is you can also use these for decorations, so it's not just a bone basket, it's a square. The custom platform now kind of shows you what's going on under the hood. Uh, this is also for the roof and uh, floor. You can also see that they've reduced the minimum distance required before you can place down an object. There is a maximum number, however, this creates some interesting shapes and uh, designs when you make it really small. Also, with the custom wall, when you you shorten it up below the minimum distance, let's have it go back. It actually goes up. So again, you can make some interesting designs with that kind of thing. Furthermore, if you place the wall all the way around with the, you know, the auto placement, and if you look at where the uh, custom platform was really short, it creates this really interesting pattern up above. So you might be able to incorporate that into some building design. It looks pretty cool, I think. Here's the roof. They made it so it can ride along the edge. Uh, it should be easier to place as long as you don't have a stupid shape like I do. So having squares or other nice polygons will make this right along the edge work. Um, I'm, I'm not like purposely aiming against the wall there, it's doing that for me. But again, have a nice shape and flatten the ground you know, by creating a custom platform. Otherwise your custom roof is still going to look quite a bit silly like mine. And you can see it goes red when you can't place it. This also happens for fences now as well. It'll go red when you're trying to do something it doesn't like. They use 3D geometry for the particle effect. So blow your stuff up in style. The rocks now explode. I think this is what they meant by the rock particle effect at least, because I don't remember them <laughs> ever blowing up so spectacularly before. I was smacking all of the rocks before, so this is this is what I think they meant. Now usually I would go into the list when I find stuff that's interesting. I didn't find anything that was too like groundbreaking this time around, it was one of the smaller patches. Next one will be about 27 days. When they have a longer duration between patches is when you, at least in my experience, you, you can expect something a little bit bigger. So when they have like a patch and then one very shortly afterwards, that's when you expect like very minor changes and then the bigger distance is probably going to introduce something a little bit cooler. It doesn't not it doesn't mean that it's going to be more areas in the vault. I really hope so. That would be so cool. But it probably means that there will be a new object, new system or, or something like that being such a, one of the longer durations. Now I'll post down below an alphabetized list of the patch notes including some of the fixes. I've stopped posting some of the fixes because uh, it looks like a lot of people don't really go through that part of the video and uh, as I said before, it's, it's just a great way for me to like <gasps> at the end. Uh, so uh, I will be posting a link if you have any questions, let me know. And if you don't really care about the fixes, I've showed you a lot of the major changes. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. I hope to have a guide up shortly. Maybe not necessarily a guide, but it's got a bit of information that at least personally myself, I was always wondering. And then when I saw this this post, I, I was like, oh, I think a lot of you guys might be interested in knowing how this stuff works too. And it comes with a bit of a skit in the beginning, just testing out some video style. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it when it comes out, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.